Hi guys, welcome to Vesna TV Home. Thank you so much for stopping by. For today's episode, we are decorating our front porch and I'll show you little snippets of what this looks like and make sure you head on over to Domestic Diva Home because we are creating our decorating our front porches together. So here's what I'm starting off with. I kind of decorated my porch to begin with, and then I was gonna go back and record it, but unfortunately the weather got really windy and kind of rainy, so I had to stop. So the only thing that I'm gonna show you with no snow is this snowman. And then you're going to see what else I put together. And the snowman, we put the little bricks at the bottom so he wouldn't fly away because you're supposed to put little stakes in and put them in the grass, but I wanted him on my front porch. Then I added this wreath, which I actually DIY'd myself. So if you want to check that out, I will link the video from my Vesna TV DIY channel up here. And then you can head on over there and see how to make that really easy Dollar Tree DIY. Then I got these birch logs from a friend who had a fallen tree, so I wound up getting a few of them. That's why I have this big, big, long one. I love it, but I wouldn't have been able to buy it, I don't think, at least not for a decent price. So this was great because it was free, and I like to decorate with them. I do have that middle one that I kind of wedged in between, and that's so that it would kind of stick up because it's a little bit short and broke on me. Then I have my ho 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 sign which I made as well and I added a belt to it so it looks like kind of like Santa and that one I DIY'd again I can link it up here. I'm doing a lot of promotion for my DIY channel but I made all of these so why not show you guys and if you're interested you can maybe head on over there and make them yourselves. This slide I also made from a palette and actually I made it together with my husband. He doesn't like it when I say I just made it because he helped me. So that's over on my DIY as well. I love using it here for the decor and I also switch out the swag which I added this year but I switch it out from a Christmas theme to just a winter theme. So I get rid of the bows and I just add a little bit of greenery and that's it. And it's just a great little addition to the front porch. We have a small front porch. Unfortunately, it's, it's not covered. So a lot of the stuff I have to, I DIY because I don't want it to, it'll get ruined with all the snow and the rain and all that stuff that happens. So this way it's DIY'd and I've, tr I've treated the wood. So hopefully it'll stay nice for a long time. Then I've got my little planter, which I make them every single year. I've added a planter DIY video a couple years ago. I'll add another one this year. I actually wound up doing these right after Halloween because there was a really good special that I found at the store for some greenery. So I picked it up and it was warm. We had like 20 plus degree weather and then all of a sudden it just turned into snow and rain and rain and winds and whatnot. That's why I couldn't finish filming my front porch. So I'm kind of doing it and stuff showing you what I came up with, but um, I like to I like to do a more thorough video, but I couldn't because the weather was just awful. So anyway, here is the planter. I will have that video up today, hopefully on my DIY channel. So Vesna TV DIY, head on over there. You can look at all these videos and hit a, hit the notification bell, subscribe so you can get pop-ups when I post new stuff. So here are the other planters that I made. I made these for my cast iron urns. I have them on each side of my garage and they're just gorgeous. I love making these planters. They're so much fun. Then I have the swags that I hang off of my lights. Now those swags I picked up last year, I believe, and they're just artificial. I used to do fresh ones, but it's just a lot of greenery to buy and these ones were a good price. So I added those and I attached the bells to them too. The bells are from either Dollar Tree or Dollarama. I'm not sure, but one of those stores, I just painted them out silver and left the little red inside. And the reason I painted them out silver is because one of them was a different color or the paint was shipped. I can't even remember, but I didn't have all the same ones and I couldn't find them again. So I painted them so they look the same. And then there's the other swag and the other planter and ju they're just lovely and what I do is once Christmas is done I take out some of the red stuff and like the Christmas theme stuff and I 
just leave them out until spring basically because they wind up even getting frozen in there so I can't even pull them out if I wanted to. And so here is the rest of the porch all done up. I may add a garland around the door but that'll be my husband who does it. So once the weather's nicer and we can put up lights and all of that stuff then we may put up a garland. I did last year so I can link that video up here and you can take a look at what I did last year. It was slightly different but I play around with it. Sometimes I wind up changing it mid-season and I think, oh, this is really bothering me, so I need something else. But this has been, because I've had it up for almost a month, It's, I've been happy with it. So let me know what you think. Again, this is a collab with Domestic Diva Home, so head on over to her channel and check it out and see what she's done with her front porch. She's got a beautiful big porch, so she can do lots and it's covered and she always does an amazing job. So make sure you head on over there and check it out. Thanks again and have a great day. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you haven't hit it. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And have a great day and stay safe and Merry Christmas if you celebrate it.